In this video, we're going to find the amount or the ending balance, the future value on an annuity, on an ordinary annuity. And it says guarantee income life offered an annuity that pays 6.65% compounded monthly. If 500 is deposited into this annuity every month, so we're making payments this time again. So we know it has to be an annuity. So we're going to make payments. So the payment is equal to $500. We're depositing those payments into the annuity every month. How much is in the account after 10 years? So that means that in, if I'm making payments every month for 10 years, 10 times 12, 10 years, 12 months in a year, that's equal to 120 total payments. And then my I, Periodic interest rate, I'm doing, I'm compounding it monthly. I'm doing 0 0.0665. I'm going to divide that by 12. And I get a periodic interest rate of 0 0.0055. And a whole bunch of other numbers. That lets me know I need to leave this in my calculator when I actually do this math. So, Using the future value formula, the future value is equal to the payment, $500 times one plus your I, which in this case, we're going to rewrite it like this to make sure we keep it exact. Raise to the end, which in this case is 120 payments, minus 1. All of that divided by I again. And now we go to our calculator to finish calculating this. So now in order to find the future value, what we're going to do is we're going to do this top part first. And in here, we're going to work the inside right here first. So we'll do 1 plus 0 0.0. And I'm going to put that inside part, actually, in parentheses to keep it clean. Because it's not a nice decimal. So I'll do 1 plus 0 0.0665. I'll divide it by 12. Close the parentheses. And I get this value here. Then I'm going to take and I'm going to raise it to this 20th power next. So raise it to the 20th. And I get this here. We'll finally subtract one for the top. And we'll get this value 0 0.11686690890. Now, the next step is to take all of this top part that we just calculated and divide by this bottom part. So again, I'm going to use parentheses and I divide here. For that I. So I'm going to do the answer divided by 0 0.0665 divided by 12. And I get this value here. And finally, I multiply that by 500. And I'm going to come up with this value. And so my future value at the end of all of this is equal to 10,544 dollars. 38 cents.